Major improvement in Jamaica road network from Maypen to William C. Lake of the Southern Coastal Highway, which is set for completion in 2023, which will ease travel time from Kingston to Manchester. Hi again and welcome. This is Links 7 TV News Report, and we'll be right back with the full and exclusive details to come. Welcome to Links 7 TV News Report, providing you with the best in local and international news updates. This is a place where you can get the most reliable and informative news information. Links that blur 7 TV News Report. Welcome back and thanks for joining us. This is Links that blur 7 TV News Report. Work on Phase 1C of Highway 2000, which is being executed under the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project from Maypen to William Seal in Manchester, is set for completion in 2023. This improvement to the Jamaica Road Network now boasts the largest four-lane bridge in Jamaica to be constructed over the Rio Mina River in Clarendon as part of the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. The bridge sits on 40-foot-long piles which are driven all the way down into the bedrock under the ground. Over the years, the rear mina has had significant flood events so the bridge is designed for a 100 year storm meaning that for a 100 year event the bridge should withstand these natural disasters the bridge is almost 150 meters or 450 feet wide and sits opposite to the existing bridge that links maypen and manchester the design of the bridge has taken previous experiences into consideration, such as in 1986 when the approaches to the existing bridge collapsed as the earth embankment on the western side was washed away. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, the Most Right Honourable Mr. Andrew Honey, said that the Maypen to Williamsville leg of the east-west highway will significantly cut travel time as the project nears completion. Speaking during a tour of the project, the Prime Minister of Jamaica stated that the new corridor is expected to be completed by the first quarter of March 2023. We toured the extension to the east-west highway. Uh, this extension is being built by China Harbour Engineering Company. It is monitored and supervised by NROC. So far, the project is 75% complete. From what I've seen, the works uh, are very impressive and it is going to be a, a very critical piece of infrastructure for Jamaica. It will certainly help to reduce travel time and improve efficiency and comfort of the commuting public all over. Uh, we had the opportunity to drive through the course so far and already the time it took us from here in Maypen to Williamsfield is it's roughly about half the time driving back from Williamsfield using the existing route coming through Poros to get back here. So, so already, even without the road being finished, just traveling on it in the unfinished state cuts travel time significantly. The Prime Minister also stated that the government is making plans for a new corridor that will go around Spurtree Hill in Manchester. The Prime Minister said that the network of highways will increase efficiency and productivity but will also give the government an opportunity to trade with the rebuilding township and urban centres. In the meantime, Prime Minister Hone said that the Maypen to Willemseal Highway project shows the government initiative meant to improve the lives of Jamaicans are moving apace even amidst the external shock. He therefore assured all Jamaicans that the government continues to do its best to ensure the proper management of these projects which provide jobs and support households across the island. The Prime Minister said that it is significant to note that some 600 Jamaicans are employed under this highway project, in addition to contractors who have provided equipment and other technical services. The construction of this new road network will include a new interchange at Clarendon Park with a link road from the highway to the main road at the traffic signal control intersection. Two toll plazas and one administration building will also be built. The layout of the building will be similar to the one at Caymanas on the north-south leg. One of the toll plazas will be comparable to the facility at Spanish Town on the Link Road, while the other will be similar to the existing facility at Maypen on the main line. The work will also include the provision of street lights for rams, 
interchanges on the toll plaza area, safe defenses and concrete median barriers, fiber optic facilities and emergency telephone system, and closed circuit television system. The new segment of the highway would begin at the western end of the existing roundabout at Maypen and continues westerly direction across the Romano River, parallel to where the existing A2 main road across the river exists. So an important feature to mention is the super elevation of the highway, which is a gradient that does two main things. One, it facilitates the traffic flow around the corner, and it also facilitates drainage as well. So beneath me here, we have a drain that facilitates the capturing and transfer of water from the highway. Now, that is important to prevent things like hydroplaning along the highway. And hydroplaning is when you have a rain event and it creates a sheet of water along the highway. Your vehicles essentially starts traveling on the water instead of the pavement itself, which can be very hazardous. You want to get that water off of the roadway, into the drainage and away from your highway. The route will continue in a westerly direction, passing through the A2 Bustamante Highway, the Four Parts Community, the Osborne Store Community, the Tollgate Community and the Clarendon Park Community. It will then head into St. Tullis and continues through the hilly terrain with speed limit reduced from 110 km per hour to 80 km per hour. The existing Melrose bypass will be incorporated into the new alignment upgrade into the four-lane dual carriageway with speed limit of 80 km per hour crossing the rail line and terminating east of the corrugated steel bridge in the vicinity of William C. roundabout. The highway has been built at a cost of $188.5 million and is scheduled for a completion in March 2023. The new road construction engages 48 engineers, of which 18 are Jamaicans. In total, 754 workers are employed on the project. 603 of these are Jamaicans. Yeah.
This has been Lynx 007 TV News Report, and we'll continue to track this story and provide you with more information to come on this. Thanks for watching.